Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Hello viewers, finally, finally, Southeast governors have banned open grazing movement of cows. <laughs> Southeast governors bow to the wish of Mazen Namdekano. Uh, this happened in between the 14 days ultimatum he gave the Southeast governors. Governor of Ebony State, who is also the chairman of um, Southeast Governors Forum, David Umahe, on Monday, being the 1st of February 2021, said the governors in the zone have banned open grazing and movement of cows by foot in the zone. Umahe made this known during APC stakeholder meeting held at the Christian Ecumenical Center, Bakaliki. Um, he then pleaded with leaders to show patriotism in their conduct to guarantee the unity of the region rather than playing politics with the security of the zone and nation. Umahe said, we are living in a dangerous time without patriotism to our nation, Nigeria. It's very difficult to have a peaceful time. There have been massive calls by Igbos to ban open grazing in the southeast, but it seems to be falling on deaf ears. Um, but after Nandi Kanu gave a 14 days ultimatum uh, towards the expiry, the southeast governor's bans open grazing. Umahe said he read on paper where someone said he was giving governors of southeast seven days to ban open grazing. Hmm. Now the governors of southeast have banned open grazing and Movement of cows by foot in southeast. Omahe went on. In each of the states of the southeast, we are managing ourselves well, and we, Omahe said, have tried all our best um, to make sure there's adequate security in the zone. What we discussed with the headsmen is a system in place for a long time. Omahe further cautioned people of the zone against instigating crisis in the country through the dissemination of fake videos that can trigger troubles. What our people must know is that security is not political. What is demanded uh, of the leaders is to put our programs that put up programs that uh, favor the people and foster national unity, he said. Uh, Governor Mahe announced his support for the call to flush out criminal elements from um, forests across the nation to boost the security of the country. Uh, that is to say, um, those people who say they are guarding the forest, they are a target, uh, according to what Mahe is saying. In our forest today, we have the kidnappers, headsmen, courtes, all sorts of criminals. Anybody staying in the forest is taking a risk. When we say that people should move out of the forest, it is for their safety and security. So, I support that kidnappers, headsmen, courtists, and bandits should be flushed out of the forest. The Inspector General of Police gets order to arrest or produce S. Imus Governor's accusers, that's the accusers in court. The accuser, not uh, the governor this time. Uh, the other time, it appears the case is not going in favor of Hakim, a former governor of Imo State. But the reverse has been the case now. An Abuja magistrate court presided over by Justice E.D. Ebiwari has issued a warrant of arrest against one Chinyere Lilian Amushingwa Igwebe and ordered the Inspector General of Police IGP Mohamed Adamu to arrest and produce her in court. He said Amushingwa Igwebe should be arraigned in court for alleged criminal defamation of character, criminal extortion, and threat to life against former governor of Imo State, Ikede Ohakim. Confirming the order, counsel to Ohakim chief a lawyer Jimako told the Guardian that uh, said that it was in connection with direction with direct criminal complaint or hakim made against Amushingwa Iwebe. 
He said the order for her arrest was made after hearing from another Ohakim's counsel, Eric Ibe, who sought an order for the IGP to arrest and produce the defendant in court for arraignment. Ejimako added that the order, which was by virtue of Section 113 and 114 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, ACJA 2015, was to arraign the defendant in court to answer allegations made against her by Ohakim through direct criminal complaints. The direct criminal complaint marked CR 95 slash 2020 is between Ikeri Ohakim and Chinyere Lilian Amuchingwa Igwebe. In the charge that followed police investigation, Amuchimwa Igwebe is accused of criminal defamation of character, criminal extortion and threat to life, he said. Wondering why the IGP was yet to obey the court order, Ejimako said Ibe had earlier written Adamu on the matter, stating that unless he obeyed the directive, he would be guilty of contempt of court and would be liable to imprisonment. Meet 25 years old Bilonia Ndoka John from Ebony State. Um, according to some reports, he's among Forbes under 30 billionaires. Okay, Chuku. Okay. Success, they say, comes as a result of hard work, persistence, and consistency in pursuing your goals in life as a man or woman. You must be joking if you think success will just come to you on a platter of gold. You must surely work for it by burning down your bridges and making things happen in a positive way. I am yet to see a young man who doesn't want to be a millionaire or a billionaire. The earnest desire of any young man, especially in Nigeria, is to make money and make enough of it. A lot of things in life will be easier for you when you are rich or very wealthy. Money, they say, answered all things. So, who doesn't want to have such powerful thoughts called money? That was a dream of a young 25 year old man called Omohandoka John, who hails from Ezambo in present day Ebony State. This young man, according to a report, is an award winning Nigerian real estate entrepreneur, investor, and philanthropist. He's also the chairman of Prince Luxury Group, which he started in 2016. The company specializes in modern residential houses in Lagos, Abuja, and in other parts of the country. Omoha, as a philanthropist, founded the Prince Omoha Foundation for helping entrepreneurs and the less privileged ones across the country. Omoha didn't just stumble upon money, he worked for it. After his graduation from Ebony State University, where he graduated with a degree in political science, he left for Lagos to join his elder brother in his business. Omoha was able to save up some money for and started a mining company. His luck shone when he was awarded a million dollar contract to be supplying mineral stones to one Chinese farm in Nigeria. He later traveled to Hong Kong for some businesses, came back and started his own company. Now, Omoha is rated as one of the young, richest and most influential real estate entrepreneurs in Nigeria, with an estimated net worth which is between 4.3 million to 5 million dollars as of October 2020 according to a Forbes and Bloomberg latest index. Currently, Omohandoka John has been nominated by Forbes Africa class of under 30 billionaires 2021. If this young man can make it this big, you also can do better than him. Just believe in yourself and never give up on your goals. Uh, this is an entrepreneur section. Uh, 
Igbo Area TV uh, show. Uh, please view us. What do you think? Um, finally, finally, like we said, the Southeast Governors has banned open grazing. Um, some days ago, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra gave them 14 days ultimatum to ban open grazing or the ESN will step forward and do the necessary job. Uh, um, this ban on open grazing is in between the expiry of the ultimatum given them. So viewers, what do you think? Add your comment. Omar um, is trying to say it is not they are not influenced by anybody. And he's, uh, there's a, there are plans to flush out every person in the forest. According to Omahi, what do you think? Add your comment. Um, we also heard of the case between Ike Edio Hakim and one Amushingwa. Uh, the case has not been going in the favor of the former Imo State Governor prior to um, the recent court uh, proceeding that, and, and that turned the case in his favor. What do you think? Now, Amushinwa is placed under arrest. Uh, the uh, IGP has been asked to provide her in court. Add your comment. What do you also think about the young Ebony Bilonia? Add your comment on the comment section. Uh, please also subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Click on the bell icon to get an update anytime it drops. Azuka Oje signs out. Thanks for watching Igbo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.